We're here at Black Lake Trees. This is Susie Dangle, and we're getting our U-cut, but they also have pre-cut Christmas tree here. And uh, I'm looking at the picture of the person who started this farm, and we're going to hear here just a moment from uh, the person, the grandson, grandson of the man, and we'll show you more of the farm later in cutting the trees. Okay. Here's your grandpa. That's my grandpa, Marv Reiner. He ran the farm for many, many years. He was here uh, days before he passed away. He's still working in the farm at 97 years old. He absolutely loved this place. And um, he had 13 grandkids that all, all spent time down here working with him on the farm and um, just really cherished his time with all of us. Oh, and so he planted these trees he over here, all right? These trees, yep. Bless his heart. He's, uh, we have five great grandchildren in the family, and, and a few of them. My son, who's four years old, has been. He was out here last year, running around with with great grandpa. And great grandpa always took him out to get hot chocolate afterwards, so he loved coming out. <laughs> <laughs> great. So we miss him very much, but his spirit's still alive oh, yeah. right here. And this is Marvin's shed. Let's take a look inside. His grandson said that Marvin loved this place and they still have his walking stick right here and hat. Moose ears and funny hats and a first aid kit. Just in case y'all were wondering, there is a National Christmas Tree Association. Oh, there is? Oh, yes. The National Christmas Tree Association. And he was a member. Of course there is. And here's a bench that Marvin's grandson set up for the spirit of his grandpa, but he said his grandfather never sat. But still, he can look out over his Christmas tree farm. Here they go, off looking for our tree. So, what happens if we don't see any, like, live in? We will find the tree. What about that one over there? It's kind of a cool thing. Now, a little straggly. We want a tree that's narrow and five feet tall. This is not it. Ooh, which one? Too puffy. Too cold. Too big. What you got, Terry? Terry could pick it. No, I'm fine. You guys pick it. I'll cut it. Come on, let's just pick a tree. It was one of the ones that was right here. This is green. I'm pointing with the instrument to take down the tree, Paul Bunyan style. The guy says just pick a tree. She thinks, look at that. That's nice. Yeah, let's go look at that. Okay. Oh, it's just sitting out there. Good, good, I was going to say good flavor. Good. <laughs> Is it a grand? It's a grand. It's a grand for... Okay. We think we have found the tree. It may not be yeah, the tree, but it's our tree. Oh, and we're gonna cut it down. Do you want me to cut it or do you want to cut it? You guys? Okay, we'll cut half and you cut half. Right, what do you think, Susie? How high above does it matter? Bob, does it matter? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll cut halfway. Yeah, you can finish your. Uh, you can put your knees on there if you want. Okay. If I kind of pull it this way, it'll keep it from closing off on you too. Okay. Good. Oh, I feel it weakening. Oh yeah. Timber! <laughs> Look at that. Good job, you guys. Wow. I think this is like under six feet, isn't it? This is a good spot to cut it because... Oh, wow, it smells so be, good. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. Oh, I smell. That's crazy. Good. I can smell from here. Yeah. Seven years old. Oh, so he was 90 when this was planted. Oh. So he probably planted this. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, he did. did. Here's the tree. Five foot gram fur. Very full. We'll give it a day or two outside to soak up the water and then we'll bring it inside. <laughs>